were saying about the direction of the light? If we want the light, we've got to go like that, because it's up there. Oh, oh, that bright thing up there. Yeah, that big ball of fire in the sky. Oh. That's where the light's coming from. Oh, right. So our eye has this tendency to perceive shadows that are coming from above. And we can understand that, we can comprehend that. What happens when it goes behind that, that white and grey thing near it? Then there's just what are shadow. They what are they called? Um, Ch 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 Chouds? Um, water cool. pockets. Sun blocker. <laughs> Sun blockers. Yeah, then we're all in shadow. Ah. And it just flattens things out, doesn't it? Well, a lot of people swear by footage like that. That's good portrait light, I'll show you. <laughs> You're in shadow now. No, 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 no. There's, a, there's a highlight on your chin. Turn this way a bit more. Now you'll notice that there's an even lighting across your whole face. Now, if I had any idea that you were going to shove your, <laughs> your, your Vinnie Viltrox that close to my mush, I would have trimmed my nasal hair. It's Alas, a pretty sharp lens It's too. on show. It's, it's a, a sharp, sharp lens. lens. It's pretty sharp. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're hunting light here. I'll just swing around. There's Market City, Haymarket, Chinatown, Sydney. You can speak through the magic of DJI technology, even though you're six metres away, you can from, talk, from Matthew. From this distance. I'm tempted to ask these gentlemen over here for a photograph. You can do that if you like. I might ask them and see what they say. Would you like me to film it for you? Can I take your photograph, just as you are? Can I take a photo? Because oh, the, the light, the light. don't like it. That's okay, that's okay. You don't like it? Do it? What about you? That's not okay, you I either. Do it. No, I respect that. No problem at all. Thank you. Thank the you. light looks really good. Little do they know the we've sunlight. already shot them five minutes earlier. Can you break the news to them that we've taken these several shots of them already? Here's a shot of those two blokes from earlier. <laughs> So you don't know whether your mic's on or not. Now how can you tell if the mic's on? Well, the flashing light, maybe, you, is it obscured? Oh, I've had to, it was hiding behind the fluffy bit again. I can see it clearly now, that I remove the fluff. Do you like the fluffy bit or not? That might have been a fluff. Huh? There you go. As long as it's managed. There you go, Chewy's in the 70s porn. <laughs> She's screaming. I'm looking for reflections in it, you know. Reflections? I want reflections. I want society to have a good, long, hard look at itself. Is this why you're at the Apple shop? Yeah, the it Apple seems store. to be an, a, a, a metaphor for modern society, you know. Everything's easier and better, and more efficient and smaller and shinier. But does it make it, does it make the world better? I was about to say, so since when does that make the, how has that made the world a better place? Well, in many ways it has. In many well, ways. It means I can. In many ways it forces people to leave New South Wales and go to Tasmania. Yeah. It means I can upgrade my phone every year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm They're only. I'm uh, looking, what are you whinging about? They're only two thousand dollars a pop. Um. I've got an iPhone. Maybe not that one. <laughs> <laughs> I paid two hundred bucks second hand for this one, and it's still going. Um. Yeah, I'm on the iPhone 14 Pro Max at the moment. Did not upgrade to the 15, the 16 is now out and I'm not getting it. Why am I looking there? It's, I should be looking up at the camera there, not at the screen. There you go. See the little round bit? That's like the eye. That's the eye, that's the bit that sees you. Right, but you know what a lot if, of people do? If you look down there, it makes it, you, you disengage from the audience. Correct, a lot of people on YouTube do that. Yeah, they do. Mm. I do it myself. I always catch I just did myself. it again. I catch myself looking down then back again. It's because you're a up. wonderful, wonderfully svelte man from near Lonnie. Because on my camera, when I flip the screen outwards to do a selfie, like that, and I'm, I'm looking down the gun, down the barrel, then I check there and then I go back, it don't look good. You're, you're basically a camera attention whore, that's what you are. You've, you've dropped your fluffy bit. <laughs> you've dropped your 70s porn. <laughs> It's alright, I caught it just in time. 
There's no damage to the fluff, it's all right. I'm pretty gentle on the fluff. Uh, I'm a gentleman. Welcome to Hachui's Manscaping Hour. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Ryobi hedge trimmer. <laughs> Petrol Clip, powered. There's just one question for you, clippers or scissors? Um, I, I have to start with something bigger. I usually go for garden shears. <laughs> the correct answer is anything that doesn't attract blood. <laughs> yeah. Are you coming, Chewy? You still talk to the old people about your herpes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some traditional solutions to these problems that modern medicine neglects to acknowledge. What problems are we talking about now? The herpes. Oh. The gonorrhea. This has been a. It's uh, cleared up a bit. It's been a truly a medical extravaganza on today's show. So they say um, bicarb vinegar and lemon. What'd you get? Straight on there. Burns a bit, but dries it up pretty quick. So it sounds like you have the recipe down pat. You've used yeah. it often, have you? Um, only a few times because it clears it up quick. Then you get some onion, wrap it in tissue, rubber band. Next morning. Is that what it is? I thought you were just happy to see me. <laughs> Slager in deep concentration here, Sydney Street Photography. Trying, trying my best to not look like a pervert. I'm calling this video a knob from near Launceston. <laughs> the Lonnie knob. I live in a place called Scottsdale and it's an hour from Lonnie. Show us your knob from near Launceston. <laughs> Shazam. So Roger, how would you rate yes, our conversation Matthew. today out of 10? Uh, very uh, smut ridden, smut filled. Now it's been very, um, very, very mature at stages. It has been today for yeah. the most part. Yeah. I'd, I'd rate it a seven. That would be my influence. Why am I looking at the screen again? I've got to look there at the show. <laughs> what would you, hang on. What would you rate it as? I reckon our conversation would be in the seven range somewhere. Seven out of 30. 15. 15? Yeah, because it's just below 50%. Um, I mean, <laughs> you are from Marion. I'm, well, I'm not from Marion, I'm from Balmain, actually. Oh, sorry, I, I rate our conversation 14 out of 15 because I was speaking with someone from an upper class. Fancy being born in Balmain and winding up in Marion and going to school at Blacktown. <laughs> and hanging out with some guy from Blacktown who lives in Tasmania. Yeah, that's uh, rubbed off me far too much. You, oh, you get my drift. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of 70s porn. <laughs> How's your muff? I mean your wind muff on your... Microphone. Can't talk like this, this might end up going on Roger Brooks films, not Harley Throttle. <laughs> there's, there, look, look, there's sun up that way. Are we going to make our way up there? Up because, there? Uh, yeah, uh, that, oh, hey, look at that perspective, look at that. How long my arm is. Yeah, go, go, gadget arms. It's longer. Keep going. <laughs> Dickhead. We seem to have found a pocket of light that has escaped from one of those grey and white things again. Those, those, those uh, water capsule devices. Currently on the corner of Bathurst and George Streets in the Sydney CBD. One of the busier parts of Sydney. Yes. This is where arguably the light falls the best in this city for street photography. Not early in the morning and late in the afternoon because the sun hides behind the skyscrapers, but anywhere in the middle part of the day, Bonza. I think that's because of the older buildings, the QVB, the town hall building. What'd you call me? An older building. 
Yeah, an old building. Um, they're not very tall, so the sun no, can correct. Well, I reach the ground. I yeah. use the term loosely, skyscrapers. It's not like we're in Manhattan, <laughs> Tokyo. Oh, they're getting bigger though. Yeah. The average height is getting bigger. The, the fog's getting thicker and Leon's getting larger. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'll be copyrighted if we hear the. Uh, I won't call them what I wanted to call them. Christians, the, 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 those ones, yeah. Biblical terminology? No, the Bible's an old book. It's more than 50 years old. There's no copyright on that. Never read it. <laughs> Never read it. Mum said, I've got a Bible here, I've got green eggs and ham. Take your pick. <laughs> I went with the ham. Dr. Seuss, it comes out in your conversation now. Does it? Yeah. yeah it's a very reflective of your personality. I was that obvious when you said? <laughs> was that what I, was that obvious when you said what do we want for lunch? And I said one fish, two fish, three fish. <laughs> Make it loud.